Hi guys, and welcome to uh, another um, another video from Tutorial Soup. Um, I'm, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a start screen to your game. Um, in the last video, we I think in the last video we created a reset button so we could um, reset the game once we died, rather than refreshing the screen using F5. Um, first of all, what I want to do is go into the HTML and add two um, more buttons. Um, actually firstly actually first of all, I'll add the image that I was talking about so we go image source. Um, now I've actually included a start screen image uh, which is in my directory which I'll be making available on the site um, soon um, after I've done the video. Um, that's the same width and height of the canvas so we are going to reference that start screen dot that's png um, so yeah, I'm going to give this an ID as well I'm going to give it an ID of start screen um, I'll give it an alt I'll give it an, um, a title the image title so for people that can't see um, start screen and There we go. So now, if I save that, you should now see an image. Uh, it's actually sitting above the canvas at the moment. So what we want to do, we want to go into the H uh, into the CSS, sorry, and we want to add a selector. So start screen So we want to change the position to absolute. Now that should jump onto the canvas. Um, what we need to do is also create a start button for the start screen and we're going to create another button which will take you from the game back to the menu screen so I'm going to add those buttons now. Um, I'm going to call them start button. Um, and it's going to have a value of start. And we're going to create a menu button with a value of menu. Now Now these, as you can see, the buttons are actually just below the picture here. So we need to again, we need to uh, pop them onto the canvas by um, giving them position, absolute position. So I'm just going to copy and paste that um, start button, and I think I call it menu button. Now there we go. Um, oh, one of them didn't work. Why didn't why didn't that work? Go. Missed out the capital B. Now, as you can see, both the buttons have appeared on the top left of the screen. We want to give them um, a position, a, mar uh, a position from the um, from the top um, top left margin. So, if I copy this. Now, we want the start button to be uh, pretty much where the reset button is actually. So, if I Yeah. Now I've positioned that on there. It's just sitting um, in exactly the same position as the reset button. I'm going to do the same with the menu button, but I want the menu button to be slightly to the left of the reset button. So, in order to do that, I just need top. Um, I need it to come over to. 180 pixels from the left margin um, and actually if we move the reset button across a little bit so we make that 240 
now that will do for now so you so you got the menu and reset and then you've got the start here now these aren't all these aren't going to occupy the same space at the same time so we're going to have the start button on the start screen and then the reset button and the menu button will come up when um, when it's game over um, now it all looks a little bit odd um, as it is now so we need to go into the JavaScript and add some functionality I me move this along a bit it's been bugging me a little bit I can't see the script very well now Now we want the start screen to um, be there at the start of the game. Um, in order to be able to access these elements, we need to uh, create a variable which is going to hold um, a reference um, from the selector. So we're going to say menu button equals. and we're going to say select the selector select the menu button selector now I'm going to copy this and do the same for the start button now I also want to create one for the menu screen so we're going to say menu screen The ID was start screen, so we're going to call it menu screen in the variable, but it's going to be reference in the start screen selector. So now I have a reference to them, I can um, control them. So we are also going to create um, create some functionality when we click on the buttons. So I'm going to reference the menu button and the start button I'm going to get rid of what's inside because that's not going to be there so actually if we start off with the start button um, this is going to this is going to appear at the start of the um, um, the game um, when when we click the button we want the game to start so what we want to do is we want to take play game is true from here and pop it in here so that when the start button is clicked on the game starts so before that the game doesn't start prematurely we also want the start screen to disappear when we click on that button um, we also don't want the menu button or the um, reset button to be to be there. So we are going to say reset button hide and menu button hide. Hopefully this will work. Uh, if I reset this. Actually, if I go back to the in initially, we want the menu button to not be here either. So we want the menu button to disappear at the start as well. We should be adding semicolons to these. Sorry. Now, now hopefully, when I click this button, uh, this start screen should disappear. So, but it isn't. Why is that not? Why is that not working? Ah, because I didn't reference the menu screen variable, so I knew that would come back and bite me. So there we go. But the yeah, sorry, I just realised I made a little bit of mistake by taking the play game, uh, make, uh, changing the play game to true in um, on the click. Actually, if we put that back within the start game um, 
what I kind of wanted to do was take these two from the init um, from the init function and pop them into the start button function so that when um, initially the game's going to be false um, but we're going to start the game and then it's going to uh, start this game and then set the play game to true and then it's going to carry on hopefully if I reset it now and press start there you go um, we also need to get rid of the start button um, so if we go back to uh, the start button click we need to get rid of that uh, button as soon as we've clicked on it so start button hide so now if I reset it press the start button now it all disappears and we just have the game so yeah sorry about that guys um, we needed to keep the play game uh, true fun uh, true uh, changing the changing the play game variable to true here and we just needed to move those um, take these two out of the um, an enit function and put in the in the start button click function um, so now we can still reset the button uh, so we can still press the reset button to reset the game but we also want to be able to go back to our menu screen if we if we want to so we are going to go down to where the ship falls below the screen we're going to say menu button dot show and we are also going to come up to here and put it in where the ship hits the asteroid so if that happens then the same thing the button will come up as well so if we start the game again the menu button shows but at the moment it's not clickable the reset button is um, also, see, and now this, this is why you should go over over your code because we also need to get rid of the menu button when we press the reset button. So, if we go back up to where the reset button is, so when we press the reset button, we also want the menu button to hide as well. So that when we reset the game from within the game, the menu button disappears as well. So that covers all, all of that. So now if we go to the menu um, menu button dot click function here, we want the play game. <laughs> I can spell play game is going to equal false. So the game doesn't um, so that it doesn't run true. Um, down here, um, so that so that the game won't actually run whilst we uh, whilst we go back to the menu screen. Um, we are going to say start or menu screen dot show. And we're going to say start button dot show because we want the start button to show again so that we can start the game from the start screen and now if I reset this and we die we press the menu screen it takes you back to the menu screen shows the menu button but we also um, we actually we want the start button to show but we also want the reset button and the menu button to disappear as well so we're going to hide the other two buttons and that should cover all of um, all of the corners I think if we all of the corners what am I talking about that should that should cover all of the bases so if I go back to the menu screen from there it gets rid of all the buttons when we go back and we start it gets rid of the buttons but then shows all the buttons when it's game over so as you can see from there we have a start screen and a button when we click on the start button it gets rid of the button uh, the start screen button and um, this is going to sound really complicated if I keep going on like this um, you get the gist of it um, we've created we've basically created a start screen by hiding and showing different elements um, I hope I haven't completely made a hash of that 
um, um, but you guys should get the gist. So have a go, have a go with putting the buttons on there, and um, and I hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you on the next one. On the next video, we're going to uh, sort out the score. We're going to uh, create. Um, we're going to create a scoring system. So, so I look forward to everyone coming back for that video. Um, I will see you later.